I'm Jennifer Angel. These are your stars for May Libra. Now, your month ahead, uh, you can really reach out to people this month to build good karma. Okay, so um, and when I'm being, what I mean by that is, you know, what you put out is what you get out. It's all energy. So, you know, if you're putting out sort of uh, nice positive energy and with the intent of helping people and certainly uh, the intent of not doing them harm, even if you're not out helping them, uh, that's what you'll get back, so keep that in mind. Now, an official matter this month can come to a conclusion as well, or you can at least start to uh, feel that it's moving in the right direction. It could, the energy and um, discussions or negotiations or movement on that can start to go ahead. Now, career and money. Uh, Mercury, the planet of communication and commerce, travels through three signs this month and it travels through your solar 7th, 8th, ninth house. At the start of the month, it's there in, in your relationships, then it moves in. For most of the month, it's in your eighth house, which is a, um, it's a monetary house. It's also a house of all authority and official matters. So um, anything to do with business, can start to come through and you can get news on on that this month okay so some additional funds could come your way too always nice to hear you may not be in control of it uh, and it may just you know come out of the blue so um, you know watch out for that so that's potentially a nice little bonus that's there for you there's a full moon on the 6th and that can cause you to change your plans, okay? So um, be careful about anything to do with money this week if you're changing things around because it's going to be more financially viable for you. You want to make sure that your attitude towards money is, is healthy and a positive. It's almost like your self-worth, how much you think you're worth is how much that you will be, get paid for your services okay so if you can increase your self-worth uh, increase your skill level and your attributes and put work into that area then that will return a greater reward to you if not now then certainly down the track now love and romance now venus is in your solar ninth house so you could be um, traveling to see a, a loved one you may be parted from somebody if that's the case and pay it you know take um, you know make good use of what I'm trying to say with the electronic communications and of course you know we are in the world of electronic communications so that's you know easy to do you could be traveling you could also be studying this month as well um, Mars is there as well it's just um, has an influence on your life as well and Mars of course in the love dynamic is the passionate side of love okay but sometimes it can also uh, make you feel that the things are um, not better than what they are but you need to just bring yourself back look at the whole picture and see the whole person okay it's great to have love and passion in a relationship but you also need friendship and a connection and understanding and trust and you know all those other great qualities for the glue to stick in the relationship and for it, for it to grow and last the distance, okay? Um, your defining day of selected is May the 4th. On this day or around, certainly around this immediate time, it's possible for you to have a deep and meaningful with somebody that's going to uncover uh, all sorts of areas and un uncover really how you feel about each other. Okay, so that's, that's nice. And your lucky numbers I've selected is four, eight, 13, 30, and 31. I've left space there for you to put your own lucky number in as well. Thanks for watching. Libra, have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel.